Lord, doesn't it? That's why I like math. It is fun. Because it always <laughs> works out. If you do it the right way, it's going to always give you the right answer. Okay? So, let's... I think you got that pretty well. Any questions about reading these charts or graphs? I think I feel a stomachache coming off this area. <laughs> we actually going to skip the algebra first, and then um, go back to geometry. And what we're going to talk about first in algebra are signed numbers, positive and negative numbers. Because things are not always positive, we'd like it to be, but anytime we pay a bill, lose some money, or whatever, it's a negative. Anytime you take anything away, it's a negative. Yep. If you have enough positives, when you take a negative away, you can still have some positives. Yep. But sometimes we all know that what we owe is more than what we have. And so a negative is our financial status sometimes. Okay? So we have to have a way to express them. There are a couple of different ways that you can look at a number line knowing that numbers go on infinitely both ways. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it's going to the right of zero, they're positive. To the left, they're negative. Well, that's negative one, negative two, negative three, and so forth. You can picture it that way, or you can picture it, sometimes I like to picture it as this is the, this is the ground. This is below, and this is above. Down here, negative. Up here, it's positive. So you can picture it any way you want, but you have to sometimes picture it because it'll be questions like the temperature was at a positive 32, it dropped 17 degrees, where is it now? You know, you have to picture that you're going down. Or if it was at a negative 32 and it and the temperature rose 17 degrees, where are you now? You're still negative. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're down 32 and you only come up 17, you still have it. You have to come up to zero before you go up. Right. So a lot of times it's, it's good to draw a picture so you can see and not just rely on the numbers themselves. That's the first thing I'll tell you. Then you need to memorize the rule for working with positive and negative numbers. And again, just like the rules for any other thing we've gone over, there's something that you just need to memorize. When you add positive and negative numbers, when the signs are the same, you're going to add the numbers and keep the sign. And that should make sense. Yep. If I have seven and you give me three more, I'm going to have ten. If I'm in the hole seven and I go in the hole three more, I'm going to be in the hole ten. Okay? So you don't have to really memorize that because it makes sense. Okay? When the signs are different, You're going to always subtract the smaller from the larger number and keep the sign of the larger. And that makes sense too if you look at it. If I have a positive 7, and then a lot of times you see it in parentheses then so that you don't get confused with the addition and subtraction signs and the positive and negative sign. Typically they won't put an addition sign here. They'll just say something and it says add the following numbers so that it'll just tell you to add or subtract. It won't have the sign here. Okay, but for our purposes I'm going to put it here. If I have 7, but I go down three. Negative. I mean positive. positive. I still have four, right? 
The rule says subtract the smaller from the larger. 3 from 7 is 4. Keep the sign of the larger positive. Okay? If I'm in the hole 7, but I come up 3, still negative negative four. Four. I'm still in the hole 4. You see? You follow that or not? Like I, where is that? So like I can't even read. I know there's another bit. That's, That's why I'm saying it too, so you can. Oh, I need to hear what you're saying. Come in a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be scared. Oh, yeah, this is this is we all right did there. you? Everybody <laughs> showered today, huh? You can move on up. Yeah, that one at me. Okay, so oh. if I'm down <laughs> seven, down here. <laughs> if I'm underground, seven. Down, down. And I come up three. I'm still underground. You see what I'm saying? Now I'm just underground four. Or here's I think about always think about negatives as you owe and positives is what you have. If you owe seven but you have three, you still owe four. Right? Okay. If you owe me seven dollars but you pay me three. But I have a question. What is okay? that say, bro? These are supposed to subtract the numbers why. It didn't say subtract. Right it there. says why are you talking about subtraction? Right there. This is not where, right where? I think she's talking about plus seven and the three. This is a negative seven. It doesn't right. say subtract. It's a negative seven. That's the number that it is. That's it doesn't say subtract right. seven. It's a negative seven. You can have positive numbers. That's what I showed you on the number line. You have positive numbers, and you have to have a way to express negative numbers. She, that? that pop them signs and stuff. See, that's a that's an add sign that Miss Harris got, and the exactly. one in the parentheses that lets you know that, that that's it's a, a positive, positive three, yeah. and the top one is a. This negative is just seven telling you to add add a negative seven to a positive three. If you have a negative seven and to that you're going to add a positive three, where will you be? If you're in the hole seven and you <laughs> come up to the board, Miss Harris. If you're in the hole seven and you come up three, where are you gonna be? Do you play cards? No. Okay, well, let's get sick because people go in the hole and stay. You can go in the hole. You go in the hole every day when you if you make five hundred dollars but you gotta pay three three hundred dollars just because you have five hundred dollars, but you have to pay somebody three hundred dollars, how much money do you have? $200. You're to the good $200. Now, you can have $500 and you can owe $800. You may. <laughs> Haven't you ever been in that situation before? Okay. You can have $500, but you owe $800. What is the situation of your bank account? Bad. Negative $300. You see what I'm saying? Rob Peter to pay Paul. <laughs> you think you're, you're subtracting. You're not subtracting with a negative. You're adding a negative to a positive. This what are you is. doing? A negative eight. You're not saying I got five dollars and I'm going to subtract eight dollars because you can't subtract eight dollars from five dollars. But I can say I have five dollars and I owe eight dollars. So that means a positive five and a negative eight. And when I put them together, my situation is a negative three. Ms. Harris, what yes. is, what is uh, from uh, same difference, subtract the smaller from larger, what does the rest say? That's all. It the says, when the signs are different, yes. subtract the smaller from the larger, oh, keep the sign of the larger. Okay, yeah. So three from seven is four, is going to be a negative four because I had a negative seven. You didn't put your done, you need a camera, Miss Harris. I put a comma here, keep sign of larger. I need a what now? The, the larger Well, number. I'm just putting it short and you write it. I'm just trying to get okay. it up as fast as a lot of writing. <laughs> Is that why you're doing cursive? No, that's just you how you like I, writing cursive? That's how adults are supposed to. Uh, uh, we don't understand cursive. What? I don't either. No, I, do, I lost it. I was about to say, what? I just can't understand when you write fast. That's what I'm saying. Just, I know because I'm really, I'm just kind of mm -hmm. writing and I'm really expecting you to write it from what I'm saying. Uh -huh. I can read it. And then if you need it. And if I had better markers too, you could see it better and that would help. I've ordered some, but they're not here yet. So I do apologize for all of that. But to say it again, when you add positive and negative numbers, when the signs are the same, either positive and positive or negative and negative, 
You just add the numbers and keep the sign. A positive plus a positive is a positive. A negative plus a negative is a negative. This doesn't mean subtract, Nicole. It means it's a negative 10. That means I'm in the whole 7, and then I'm in the whole 3. I'm in the whole 10. That's what a negative 10 means. It's that I have to get $10 just to get to 0 because I'm in the whole 10. And you have to be able to express that because we're not always above 0. A lot of times things are below 0. And we have to have a way to express it, and they express those numbers by using a negative sign. Anything above zero has a positive sign, but we never put it there when we're dealing with just positives. It's understood that it's a positive. When you add 8 plus 4, it's understood that you're talking you have 8, you have 4, now you have 12. So you never see the little sign there with it when you add 7 and 3. You've never seen that before because it wasn't necessary. Now that you know that there can be negative numbers too, you have to distinguish because sometimes you have, sometimes you're losing. And so you have to be able to distinguish. So if the signs are the same, 